praise the Lord and welcome to Nightline. I am your host for the evening. I am Annie T. Broughton and I tell you what, we're going to have amazing time tonight on Nightline. We have some, oh, the, the, the studio is full tonight. We have some powerful, anointed, gifted guests with us tonight and we're going to let the Holy Spirit just have his way. I do have a scripture that I would love to share tonight. It's lifted from the book of Nehemiah. 2 and 20 from the King James Version. It reads, So I answered them and said to them, The God of heaven himself will prosper us. Therefore, we his servants will arise and build. But you have no heritage or right or memorial in Jerusalem. I just love that scripture and I just think that is a powerful word from the Lord tonight, a word of encouragement, a word to lift us, lift us up because Nehemiah, who oh my goodness, he was one of the greatest, if not the greatest leader in the Bible uh, in his time. He was a man who was very resourceful. He was anointed and chosen by God. Tonight, our guest is going to be Natasha D. Mayer. She's the president of Nehemiah Community Revitalization Corporation. We have Dr. Paula Bruce, Freedom Alive Church. She's the apostolic overseer. We have Pastor Anthony Dix, Mount Zion Senior Pastor, Patricia Ballman, um, Patricia Baldwin, Nehemiah CRC, Latoya Lee, she's one of the residents and Zandra Robinson, she's the property manager. So again, we're gonna have such an amazing, awesome time tonight. We do have some amazing prayer partners, gifted prayer partners, and we would love for you to call in tonight. The number is on the screen, and we would love to hear from you. If you need encouragement tonight, if you need prayer tonight, if you just need to call, if you want to call in and say, I got a praise report that I want to share with you all tonight. We would love to hear from you. And if you get it to us, we'll call your name out and tell the people what the Lord is doing in your life. And also, if you want to consider being a prayer partner, call that same number. And we just let the Lord just use you for the glory of God. But right now, I'm getting ready to go to Anita Faye. Amen. <laughs> Pretend that everything is okay. I could pretend hmm, that problems don't bother me today, or I could be real, so real, until my heart is exposed. Go on, thinking I could just push through it, but I do not know, I really don't know, if I can see past my tears, I guess I'll be still, I will, let this wall break down inside my soul. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cast my cares upon you. I'm going to kneel before your throne. I beg you to please forgive me if anything in me is wrong. I ask you to please lift this burden and let this cup pass from me. me how to go through. See, I can't take this burden. Please teach me how to go through. You said in your word, oh, you'd never give more than I can bear. But this right like more than my share see these burdens oh these burdens they tried 
to pull me down. So I, I cast them at your feet, cause I'm depleted, God. And I need yes, I need you. So please give me a fresh anointing. If you don't do it, I won't get through it. See, I surrender, I'm still, I'm broken, and I will let this walk go. Yes, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cast my cares upon you. I'm gonna kneel before your throne. Well, that was the beautiful Anita Faye singing with gladness. And I tell you what, she is such a gifted, anointed, blessed young woman of God. And we are blessed to have her music with us tonight on Nightline. But we're getting ready to go to our first guest. Oh, my goodness. This is Natasha Mayer. She is the president of Nehemiah CRC Community Revitalization Corporation. So, hi Natasha. Hello. How are you? I'm wonderful. How I are you? I am so happy to have you with us Glad on to be here. tonight. Glad oh my to be goodness. Here. <laughs> <laughs> and when uh, the young lady was singing, was Faye was singing, I said, You are such a busy young woman of God. Yes, <laughs> yes I am. Very busy. <laughs> but God has got you doing so many great and wonderful things, and mm -hmm. I am so happy yeah. for you. And I tell you what, and Greater is he that's in us and he that's in this world. That's Amen. That's right. That's right. That's true. That's true. So how you been doing? I've been doing well. Been doing well. Yeah. Yeah. So I know other than just being busy, can I share a couple of things about you? Sure. Okay. Uh, Natasha Mayer is, um, she's the president of Nehemiah CRC. Uh, she is, has a master's in human, human resources. She's a songwriter, a playwriter. Uh, a wife, <laughs> a mother. She's a visionary, and mm -hmm. I can tell that you you are. I can tell you're a visionary. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah. that Nehemiah anointing on yes. your life. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so tell us about Nehemiah CRC. 
Well, uh, Nehemiah, of course, is a nonprofit affordable housing development corporation. Yeah. Uh, we were founded in 1993 by a guy by the name of Tom Faulkner, um, who retired about seven years ago. And um, I came to Nehemiah in 1995. Okay. I came in as a secretary. And uh, <laughs> yes, I was secretary. And so um, worked my way up to home ownership coordinator and um, vice president and then president yeah. after he left. But we've been around since 93. We just celebrated 30 years on February the 17th. Oh, my goodness. 30 years of a provision of affordable housing, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. it's beautiful, yes. awesome. In that time, we have developed over 1,300 affordable housing units. Um, statewide, statewide, yeah. just about every county, we've developed some affordable housing there. And Natasha, you all are really all over the place. We are. I mean, you have locations in Greenville, Aiken, mm -hmm. Spidenburg, Gaffney, Anderson, Charleston, mm -hmm. Greer. <laughs> Greer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, we have, we have, we, we, we don't own uh, units in all of those counties, yeah. but we do own in Greenville, Anderson, Spartanburg, Greenwood, Gaffney. Um, we own a little over 113 units now. Wow. Yeah. And so also um, when I was reading about uh, Nehemiah CRC, it said it houses people with AIDS. Uh, we have. We've, we mentally partnered. Mentally ill. Mm -hmm. we partnered with other organizations. Okay. Every mental health association, probably in the state, uh, we 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 when we started out initially, we built for clients um, in Columbia okay. who could live on their own with support services, and okay. so we partnered with mental health associations all across the state wow. to build for their clients. And I saw senior citizens in there too. Oh yeah, we got some. <laughs> Those are our favorite <laughs> residents, but don't tell nobody. <laughs> Yes, we, uh, we have yeah. senior house, and we even had some for youth who were transitioning out of the foster care system. Yeah. Yeah, so we built for everybody. So when you say affordable, mm -hmm. what do you mean by that? Where can you <laughs> find a three-bedroom, two-bath house? Wow. It ranges from $500 to $700 a month. That's what we build. That's what you build? And it's quality affordable housing. It's not, oh, okay. you, you couldn't look at it and tell that, you know, that's lower income housing. Oh, I see uh, a picture it's a on quality. the screen, yeah. Yeah, that's one of our duplexes in Greenwood, mm -hmm. South yeah. Carolina there. We have some seniors there and we have some family. Those are two bedrooms uh, there. Those are really nice. Yeah. And you, when you said quality. It's quality. You meant quality. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so how long does it actually take to build one of these homes? Uh, for our single family homes, it takes about five to six months. Mm -hmm. um, for our multifamily projects, it takes about nine months. Okay, yeah. Those are actually beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a home we built, a home ownership uh, unit. We built that from a lady who um, became a citizen of the uh, United States. So yeah. we also do rehab. This was a woman's house in Greenwood. She was, she's about 95, mid 90s. And this is what we found when we went in. When you and, went in? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So we totally was redid Was she living her. there? She was living there. She was living there, keeping her grandbabies every day. Bless and her heart. Um, we got a grant and that's, that's what it looked like after we finished doing the work. Yeah. So how does she get in con contact with you? She, we partnered with uh, Upper Savannah Cog, which is in the Greenwood area. So it's a governmental unit that has hundreds of thousands of dollars for uh, things like this as well yeah. as new construction. And we just advertised and, and she applied and we actually had to move her out of her house because we brought everything in the house up to code. So she had to move out and Bless she was heart. so happy to move back in and find everything as it was. I bet she just cried. She did. She did. <laughs> I know I she would've. Did. Like, oh she, did. <laughs> she did. She did. Thank you, Jesus. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually thought about getting out of the rehab business because um, there were so many who were not thankful as yeah. she was. And and I just 
you know, I said I, I wasn't going to do it anymore. And then, you know, you take cases like that at home with you at night. Yeah. And say, I if you so. don't help them, who will? Yeah. Who will? So have you met with any challenges in doing this as far as, I mean, like Nehemiah, he came mm -hmm. up and get some challenges, you know. Yes. Like, <laughs> some of course. People, you know. <laughs> Of course, there's some challenges. <laughs> uh, our greatest challenge, of course, as a nonprofit, funding is always our greatest challenge. Yeah. Um, but we have been initially when we, when we first started the organization, we never owned property. Okay. We, we never owned. We just partnered and co-developed, and we made a conscious decision at, when the housing crisis came in 07, 08. We made a conscious decision that anything we build now, we're going to own. <laughs> and when I became president, I made the decision that what we're going to own, we're going to also manage. Wow. And so now that we manage the properties that we own, it, it provides some uh, funding assistance for our operations. So when you came in as president, mm -hmm. you had some, you made some changes? I made that change. That change. We were, we're okay. going to manage our properties <laughs> because I saw that uh, what we were paying people to manage, yeah. you know, we were still covering all the expenses mm -hmm. and we were giving them overhead. We still paying the expense of the property manager all. And so I said, well, why can't we do that? Yeah. And so we hired our own property manager that you all will meet uh, later on. Yeah. And we just decided that since we didn't own anything, <laughs> we would have had to go out of business because we didn't own anything. We couldn't get credit lines because we didn't yeah. own, we didn't have any assets. Wow. So that was a major decision to start owning what we build and to manage it to sustain the organization. Okay, but I, I, I see that you are a visionary, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what you say. <laughs> yeah, you're a visionary. Yes, <laughs> okay. Tell us about, I know you said you were a secretary, mm -hmm. right? Yes, I was. And then you moved your way up to mm -hmm. become the president. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What did, the, what did the Holy Spirit actually speak to you about everything? Well, I, I wasn't listening to him because I didn't want to be the president. <laughs> <laughs> because I did not think I could do it. <laughs> I, I did not think I could do it. And, and uh, the guy who was the president at the time, he said, it, it's now or never, but actually my wow. father-in-law, mm. he was the first one to tell me years before it happened that one day you're going to be president of this corporation. You know him, Bishop Mayor. Yeah. He <laughs> said one day you're going to be president. I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want that responsibility, but, uh, but yeah, he, he, I, I said, okay, I'll do it. And so how long have you been president now? It's probably a little over seven years now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> been interesting. So was your father-in-law wrong? He was not. <laughs> he was not. <laughs> he was not. He saw a little further down the road and what did. you could see, right? He did. He actually did. Yeah. Yes, he did. Do you like Jeremiah 29 and 11? I do. What does that, what does that scripture speak well, to you? I know the plan uh, that I have for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad they his plans because if I, I followed mine, I wouldn't be here probably today. Yeah. Yes. Well, I know that you brought some powerful uh, young women of God mm -hmm. that's going to mm -hmm. be joining us in a little mm -hmm. while and, and sharing some testimonies yes. about the goodness of the Lord yes. and what all God is doing in their lives mm -hmm. and, and how they got connected with you. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, I just want to thank you because you are such a powerful young woman of God and I've been knowing you for a long mm -hmm. time. Yes. And I'm so, can I tell you something? Yes. I am so proud of you. Oh, thank you. Thank I you. am so proud of everything that you are doing and that the Holy Spirit is doing through you. Mm. You know, you didn't give up. Mm -mm. You didn't quit. Mm -mm. You didn't throw in the towel. You persevere. Mm -hmm. And that's what Nehemiah did. He said, mm -hmm. why should I come down to you? That's right. I'm doing a great work. Mm -hmm. that's, right. <laughs> that's right. Why should I come down? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, again, we are talking to Natasha Mir, and I tell you, she's, she's really enlightening us tonight. But right now, we're getting ready to go back to Anita Faye, and she's going to be singing with gladness. Amen. <laughs> Going back to the Caribbean for this one. Yeah. Way yo, way yo. Yeah, 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 
yeah, yeah. Oh, clap your hands if you can. We come to celebrate the God of all creation. We came to leap for joy and exalt the Lord of our salvation. We come to magnify his name. We come to shout the highest praise. We come to lift him up higher, higher. Oh, come before the Lord. Before the Lord. Oh, yeah. My goodness, we are having such a wonderful time tonight on Nightline, and again, we have such some um, some amazing guests tonight. 
And we have Natasha Mayer. She's the president of Nehemiah CRC. But we have been joined tonight by Patricia Baldwin, and she has an amazing testimony. But before I talk to her about her testimony, how you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. It's good to see you. Thank you. It's good to be seen. Yeah, I know. It is good. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it is really good to be seen. That's and right. you are so, you wearing that red. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That Thank power you. color. That power <laughs> color. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been such a long time since I've seen you and your husband. Right. I tell you what, it, when you walked in the door, I said, oh my God. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I remember one time you sent me a prophetic word, and I tell you what, wow. you probably forgot about it, but I, I did. did. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's been a while back, but I tell you what, I was blessed wow. to receive, and I thank you for that. Wow. I, I do. I thank you for that. Oh, you but you have an amazing testimony tonight, young woman of God. I do. I, I do. <laughs> um, well, um, it's, it is amazing. God is such amazing yeah um and i truly honor god on this evening i mm -hmm. honor uh, apostle natasha mayors and i yes. honor you yeah and um praise god well, it kind of fell in my lap kind of um and I just thank God for that opportunity i also work at uh nehemiah as well yeah and i I'm a, a secretary as well, and I also live in the, uh, Nehemiah, one of the Nehemiah's homes. Oh, you do? I do. <laughs> I do. And actually, it's one of the nicest homes on the block. <laughs> so, hey, um, yeah. That's awesome. It is. Praise God. It is. It we ain't going to tell nobody, though. The best of us listening in, we ain't going to tell right, nobody. Right. <laughs> so, I'm truly enjoying my home. I'm yes. truly enjoying it. Yes, Such an I awesome, don't blame awesome you, sweetheart. Yeah. So how did you come about owning one of the homes? Well, um, from her uh, mom, actually. Her it, her mom kind of, it was meant for someone else. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> so her it was meant for someone else, but, but glory be to God, she offered it to myself and my husband. Yeah. And... Um, and I just think I thank God for her, and um, she's such an amazing woman of God. And, yeah. And I thank God for that opportunity, and because me and my husband, we was living, you know, with uh, my mother-in-law. Okay. Right, and so that was such a. Now, who's your mother-in-law? Miss uh, Jeannie Simpson. Because <laughs> you know, I know her. <laughs> I want you to give her a shout out. <laughs> yeah, she um she told me that y'all work together. Yeah, at, at I love her. Hospital, yeah. She's sweet. Yeah, she said the same thing about you. <laughs> Thank so. you. <laughs> so um, yeah, it it failed in our lap. So I'm I'm totally grateful, and that was one of the hardest times, in, you know, in my life. So I can imagine. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. It was a struggle. It, it yeah. was. Um, Ain't no place like home, though, is Ain't no place it? like <laughs> home. <laughs> right. Your Ain't no place yeah. like your right. own home. Yeah. Right. And I understand. It, and that is such, it's such an awesome home. So yeah. I love it. Me and my husband. Yeah. So how did you come about working for Nehemiah? That is where I also fell in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was working somewhere else, at somewhere else at the time, mm -hmm. and I was kind of, um, complaining to the Lord about it <laughs> and <laughs> right <laughs> so um lo and behold um Apostle Natasha Mayer called me and she was she offered the job you know to, to you. me yes and um Aww. I was like are you serious and so she was like yeah I was like okay and and I've been there for five years yeah, five, five years, years now. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's doing a good job. She's doing a very good job. <laughs> very good job. Sitting right next to the boss. Right, the, right. If she right. tell you you're doing a good job, you're doing a good job. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I love it. I love my job. And I'm yeah. working my way up. Well, you know the word of the Lord says the steps of the righteous That's right. are ordered by him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, things fell into your lap, but it was orchestrated 
already designed by God. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you just got favor. You're walking in favor. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> the favor of the Lord is on your life. That's right. And he chose you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. So I, I'm thankful for your for uh, Pastor Natasha that reached out to yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so evidently you was already making an impression on her for her to do that, I right? Was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was. Yeah, because you are a member of her church. I am. Yeah. I am. Yes. So you was already doing some great things, right? I was already there. <laughs> <laughs> and I truly thank him. Yeah. So why did you reach out to her? Well, to be honest, she was my armor bearer. Ah. And when I had to go, she couldn't go sometimes. So I said, let me fix that. Let me get you a job. <laughs> I know, I know. So, uh, Well, tell somebody yeah. what an armor bearer is in case somebody's tuning in and I don't know what an armor bearer is and what they do. Mm -hmm. Share that with us. Well, they're not just a Bible toting, okay. water-giving mm -hmm. person. Okay. Um, and they'll learn more about that, you know, as we talk in the second hour. But what people don't realize, I think, about armor bearers is the warfare that comes along with that position. Okay, I um, got you. They catch a lot of stuff that's intended for the person that they're serving. Okay. And so I, I don't believe that position is for someone who is not spiritually strong and yeah. um, able yeah. to engage in spiritual warfare and mm -hmm. be victorious in it. Right. Because... Uh, there's a lot of things, as I said, that comes to them because of uh, the weight that they carry in watching mm -hmm. uh, for their pastor or right. whoever, they're, whoever they serve. And, and they have to be spiritually king and, and able to discern that and see those darts and see those arrows. Yeah. Because if they Ooh, miss them, they're going to hit us. <laughs> right? Yeah. So it's, it's not this glory glorified position where yeah. you get to carry. I, I told her from the beginning, I can carry my own purse. Yeah. I can carry my own Bible. Can you carry me in the spirit? Right? Because yeah. I, I, I want to focus on the word. I want to focus on preaching the word of God and getting uh, his message out that he's given to me. Yeah. I don't need to worry about fighting and, yeah. and knives and arrows. And, and, and so uh, to me, that's what, that's what a good armor bearer is. So evidently she was a good one. And that's why you say you reached out to her. You say mm -hmm. you got to come off that second yeah. job. <laughs> <laughs> so you yes. can go with me where I need yeah. to go and be with me and do what you think you need to do. Wasn't that selfish. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you just do a good thing I, when I, you I, see it. You know when you're yes, blessed. Yes. yes. And I always, I always say that I'm Esther. Uh, people hear me say that all the time, that I see myself as kind of an Esther. Kind okay, of, okay, okay. Kind yeah, of yeah. bring people yeah, in. And yeah. if I can hire the whole crew, I hire the whole crew. There you <laughs> if go. I could. But um, I just like going to God on behalf of people and, right. and seeing people. A exactly. lot of people don't, when they see me, they don't know that I was a high school dropout. Okay. I was yeah. a high school dropout. I had low self esteem. I, mm -hmm. I didn't even hold my head up. I looked at the ground because, you know, people talk so much. I said, well, if I hold my head down, then they won't talk about me. And the, God has brought me through all of that now from going to be, from being a high school dropout to now having two master's yes. uh, degrees. Yes. Yeah, he brought, yes. he brought me through all of that. And so I kind of see myself as a person that has the responsibility to kind of reach back. Right. And, and, and to help bring yeah. people along like, like I had the opportunity to come yeah. along. Yeah. Wow. Well, mm -hmm. So God has joined y'all together. It was his will. That's right for you two to be together, mm -hmm. you know, and because like you said, you needed someone powerful. That's right. Somebody that was anointed, somebody yeah. that could, who, who could catch you in the spirit. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I remember um, telling her um, right along when God was speaking about um, me being her armor bearer. Yeah. I remember telling her that where you go, I go. Wow. Your God, my God. I remember that, and that, that was years ago. Mm -hmm. See, you about, you about to make me cry. Because <laughs> I know that you meant that from your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you meant that yeah. from your heart. Have you been on Nightline before? No. <laughs> no. Well, thank you for coming tonight, no. sweet woman of God, mm -hmm. because 
to yes. God be all the glory. You Amen. are such a blessing in, you know, in sharing your testimony. That's right. Because somebody needed to hear that tonight. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of homeless people right now mm -hmm. that's going through struggles, that's going through heartache. But they, now they can say, if, she, if God can do it for her, yeah, that's, <laughs> right. that's, that's right. right. He can do it for me. That's right. So tell us again about your beautiful home now. Well, um, I live uh, in the Nehemiah, one of the Nehemiah homes. Yeah. And it is beautiful. <laughs> and I'll say again, it's one of the <laughs> nicest homes on the block. <laughs> and every time when someone passes by, they always look and they go, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's my home. Mm -hmm. We well, you know, you know, I had a pastor that always taught us it's a poor frog. It don't praise his own pun. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so I'm happy about everything that God is doing in your life, your home, your your new employment. Thank you. You said five years now? Yes. Yes. You're working with this powerful woman of God. That's right. You know, so you know the anointing flows from the head down. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> like it did with Aaron. Mm -hmm. So I see the anointing flowing down to you and and everything that God is doing in your life. Did you have a last minute thing you want to share with some of this? Encourage somebody for a second? Um, yes, I do. I encourage, you know, who's ever watching, don't give up. Right. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged because God is able to do exceedingly <laughs> and abundantly above all that we ask and think. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for being with us. And listen, you got to come back, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Well, we're getting ready to go back now to Anita Faye, and she's going to be singing Untraceable. Amen. <laughs> Even when you don't know, my grandma 
the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things, of things we cannot see. And even though I can't, can't trace you, I'm gone. But I'll trust you. No, I can't cannot you, always feel you. you. But I'm going to leave. Depend. I'll, I'll stand on your word. Just call on the name of Jesus. He'll hear you, hear you when you pray. Oh, my goodness. So, again, we are having such a wonderful time. So, please pick up the phone and call in tonight. Maybe these powerful women of God can give you some information that you need to hear. We do have some amazing prayer partners, and they would love to pray with you, for you, and the number is on the screen. But right now, we're being joined by Zandre Robinson. She's the, the property manager <laughs> for Nehemiah CRC. I asked her, I said, are you one of them? Or you are the property. She said, I'm the property manager. <laughs> <laughs> so we're happy to have her with us tonight. And also Latoya Lee, she's one of the tenants there. And so she's going to be sharing a testimony and sharing some things about her as well. So to God be all the glory. Mm -hmm. But uh, Zandre, yes. you are the property manager? The one and only. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's just me. <laughs> you cover a lot of ground, a lot of territory, don't you? I do. Um, I manage 113 properties, if I'm wow. not mistaken. Yes, um, so it's a lot. I'm, I'm busy. You sure are. Yes, all the time. <laughs> so how did, how did you step into that role? Well, uh, <laughs> Natasha thought of me. Um, <laughs> I was you are Nestor. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I was at the time. <laughs> yes, I was working a third shift job in manufacturing, and uh, um, so she asked me about coming, becoming a property manager, um, and I did give it some thought because of third shift, and so I did make the decision. And, and making the decision, oh. I lost income um, because we all know that plants pay pay well. Yeah. But um, I wanted to be able to sleep at night. Yeah. And then um, I grew up in affordable home, housing. Oh, you and did? so it's something dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. And so, um, hey, why not? <laughs> yeah. And so I decided to join. And um, I've been on the team for maybe seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, y'all are long timers. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all yeah. been there a while. Yeah. I see why you all are doing so many great and wonderful things, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And y'all just work well together. You we do. Y'all have a time of prayer. Y'all pray together. We oh. have to pray all the time, but we need to start praying together. <laughs> 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 Ooh, we need to start back doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if, um, we can all get in the office at the same time. That's the thing. Yeah. Schedules. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can yeah. understand that. Yeah. I can understand that. And then we also have Latoya Leek. Yes. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. How, how are, are you? you? I'm fine. Good. I'm fine. Looking all cute down on the end. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> are you the baby in the bunch? Oh, uh, yeah. You can say that. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I'm super happy to have you with us with these beautiful ladies tonight to share and what God is doing in your life. And I know he's doing so many wonderful things. But you are a tenant with NHC, Nehemiah, RS, Nehemiah what is it? CRC. CRC. Yeah. Okay, so you're a tenant. Yes, ma'am. I'm a tenant. I've been a tenant since 2019. Um, I... 
my sister lived in an apartment that was kind of across from where mine's were, well, my, at the time. And so I got the number and I called and, and I spoke with Zandre. And um, <laughs> at the time I was homeless. Oh, okay. Um, and I was pregnant and in school. I had a seven year old and a two year old girl. Mm -hmm. And um, someone broke into my home and I didn't feel safe. And I told my wow. son that, you know, we wouldn't, we're not gonna go back there. And um, I got the number and I spoke with Zandre and she told me to come in and I met Patricia. And um, yeah, they had so much empathy and were persistent about getting me and my children into a home as soon as wow. possible. And I'm grateful for them to this day. So, you know, it's amazing how the Lord will connect you with such great people, mm -hmm. people who love God. Mm -hmm. Because I was reading about you, one thing about you that you got a heart to serve. Mm -hmm. Your desire is to reach the lost, to reach people that need help, you know. So I'm thankful to you because you, the Holy Spirit used you to connect with Zandre mm -hmm. and now with Miss Leek and mm -hmm. Patricia and mm -hmm. so many others. And how many houses you see? I got 130? 113. 113. Mm -hmm. Properties, yeah. Yeah. So t tell me, how do, you, how, do you, how do you manage all that? <laughs> well, um, we do actually have a property manager in Anderson. I okay. forgot about her. So she managed how many of the properties? Like 14. 14, yes. 14. So I have the rest We're of them. We're still. That's so a, I go to, I'm, I'm in Greenville, um, Greenwood, um, twice a month. Okay. Um, Spartan Bird, um, I stop by there a lot. They need me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I spend a lot of time in Spartan Bird and um, Gaffney. Um, um, yeah. yeah. But I travel a lot, so. Yeah. yeah. So when you, what's the process though? If so, when someone calls you and you say come in or whatever, mm -hmm. what's the process from that point on? Um, so as Latoya was saying, because she is, she was homeless, she was displaced. If you call us and you are displaced and you're able to provide documentation to say that you are displaced, then you're moved to the front of the waiting list. Okay. And so we are able to help those people who are homeless, but they have to have some type of income because mm -hmm. although we're low income, we are income restricted. And so our rents are um, set, it's not income based. Okay. And so they have to have income to be able to qualify. But if you come in and you are homeless, that moves you up to the top of the list. Oh my goodness. Um, but anyone else, we do have a waiting list. And so we just add them to, to the list. Mm -hmm. And how long is the waiting list Primarily uh, or generally? Um, it keeps about 50 to 100 people. Um, affordable housing is really scarce. Mm -hmm. And um, the biggest thing that I'm seeing in affordable housing right now is that we have these people that are in the gap that are not low income, but are not high income either, but they don't fit in my class. And it's, it's really heartbreaking yeah. because they make a little more money and they miss us by 10 or $20 and then I, it's something that I can't um, provide for them. Yeah. And so I, I see that becoming an issue with the low income housing. Um, you know, people are making more money since the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, people are not, jobs realize that we have to pay people more money, but somehow um, the system isn't changing to adjust that. Okay. And so we still, I see a lot of people that need us mm -hmm. that we are still not able to help because not they don't idea. meet our guidelines. Mm -hmm. And so we are, mm -hmm. because we are income restricted, there is an income that you cannot exceed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, yeah. And so oftentimes we find that sometimes people will give up mm -hmm. good jobs yeah. just to remain in the housing. And we try to discourage that because, right. you know, you want to move up, you mm -hmm. want to uh, improve your quality of life with income, but it's just so scarce that you can find quality affordable housing Yeah, uh, that people will sometimes give up good jobs or, or it, it's just amazing the desperation. And as she said, we just have pages 
of waiting lists. Yeah. People need affordable mm -hmm. housing. They do. So, okay, let, let me make sure I understand what you're saying. Um, someone could be, could have a good paying job, mm -hmm. but yet they can't afford to get into one of your houses. So they'll give up their good paying job, right? Well, they're already in our house. Okay. And either they'll get a better job or get a raise um, or, or a situation like that. Yeah. And then they, they'll give it up. They'll give it up just to stay there. Oh, my goodness. Because our, the rules of the government is once you exceed what our income mm -hmm. guidelines are, we have to charge you market rate rent. We have mm -hmm. to charge you 30% 30 30 of, of your income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I also see why well, I have a lot of tenants that, since you're talking about tenants that may have qualified in the yeah. beginning, and then when I go to recertify them, they're over income because they have, they're, they're at a job that pays more. Mm -hmm. But they choose to stay with us okay. because even at 30% of their income, my rent is still more affordable mm -hmm. oh, because you yeah. got market rate rents that start for a three bedroom, $1,500 mm -hmm. to $2,000 mm -hmm. a month. Mm -hmm. And people that are considered true low income, they can't, can't afford, afford that. that. Right. Yeah. So Latoya, I am so thankful to the good Lord, not that you were homeless, but that God opened the door for you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Um, and since then, it's just been so much growth. I had room to grow and not having stress or worry, you know, and knowing that I have somewhere safe, nice, um, you know, for myself and my children. So I'm able to focus on leveling up mm -hmm. as a woman, as yeah. a, you know, mother, as a business. Now I have my own business. I'm mm -hmm. licensed in South Carolina and North Carolina as an esthetician. And Yeah, tell us so, about that. What is, a, what is that? <laughs> so esthetician is basically like a skincare specialist. Yeah. Um, facials, full body waxing, stuff of that nature. I do makeup a lot um, for weddings. TV production sometimes. Oh, also, how look? You know. <laughs> Let me see, by the way. <laughs> um, so I, I'm I'm thankful. I'm I'm grateful. Also, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you trying to uh, purchase a bus? That did I read that? Uh, yeah. So I recently uh, purchased a shuttle bus, and I'm working on having it converted to a mobile salon. So I'll be able to uh, take services <laughs> all around South Carolina in North Carolina and I have handicap access with those services as well. So I'm able to serve any and everybody. So. Yes, yes. That is amazing. so, it is amazing. amazing. Yes. Yeah. She invited me into the, she just wanted me to see it. I was at the property and I was talking to her. Yeah. And cause she's had this bus here for a while. And so I asked her, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, come see. And I went in, and I was just so it's inspired yeah. by, you know, she's put, getting it together piece by piece and piece by piece. And I called Tasha, I said, can you see if we can get her on the show next week? Because <laughs> I'm so yes. inspired that she has um, the mindset Ooh. to want to mm -hmm. elevate her life. Mm -hmm. yes. She doesn't want to stay stuck. She wants to set an example for her children mm -hmm. that you can have more. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can live a, a life that is better than what you mm -hmm. may um, live yes. in now. And so it just so inspired me to know that she has work and she and I have been back and forth about this bus. I'm like, come on, you gotta get a tag on it. You gotta, it can't, like, it can't sit here without a tag. <laughs> and so she is, she has faithfully worked and it's just, it's coming together. It is just beautiful. <laughs> and I, yeah, and I'm, I'm excited for her. Thank I'm you. so excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, I, I'm telling you, I'm excited for you. <laughs> I'm excited for you. Everything that, that's happening in your life is yes, yes. such a blessing yes, because yes. you have two children. I have three. Three children. Mm -hmm. But you was pregnant though when you, when, at the time you were homeless, right? Yes, ma'am. So I had um, started school and uh, <laughs> before everything happened, I had just got my start date and we had to leave our home. So I was sleeping on an air mattress at my sister's apartment, pregnant, finding someone to watch the kids so I can go to school and finish school and it's been up and up ever since and I'm 
I just thank God daily for, you know, putting it in me not to give up and having people, you know, crossing paths with people who, you know, share that love of God also mm -hmm. and want to see others do better. So Yeah. Wow. Well, I am so thankful for you coming tonight that y'all contacted her and said, yeah, we need to bring her on. Yeah, when, <laughs> when she asked me, I was like, of course. You know, <laughs> go on, <let's> do it. <laughs> hey, when, when God does something good for you, you need to tell it. Mm -hmm. You know, right. tell somebody right. about right. the goodness of the Lord. Well, guess what, y'all? We have a salvation report called in tonight. Yeah. To God be all the glory. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. And uh, his name is Steve Mathis. Steve, we want you to know that we are so thankful to the good Lord that you um, gave your life to the Lord tonight. Amen. What an awesome blessing. Amen. Well, we already, we're about ready to close out the first hour. <laughs> <laughs> Did we not have a great time yeah, on the yeah, first yeah. hour? Mm -hmm. But we got some more people that's coming back on the second hour. Mm -hmm. So we want you to make sure you stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Call some people and tell them to tune into Nightline tonight. But uh, can I get, Zandre, can I get you to pray over this prayer request tonight yes. as we close out? Mm -hmm. just, just pray us out. Thank you. Father God, we just want to come to say thank you, God. Thank you, God, we thank you, God, for what are you doing, God, in the lives of your people, God. You, God, we know, God, that you can meet any need, God, whatever it is, God, that these people, God, have um, brought before you, God. I pray, God, God, that you would just intervene even now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, I show, pray, God, that you would show Jesus. yourself strong, God. Yes. I pray, Father, God, that if anyone you, is Jesus. lost, God, God, that they will be found, God, through you, God. God, we thank you for it, God. We know it's done, and we believe it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Both of y'all, all three of y'all, just awesome in God. I tell you, this amazing.